least be thee that comes before this elder tree. How is it that you can talk? How do I speak? The same as you. I form the words and sound them true. Now I have answered the query of thine, but thou hast yet to answer mine. Can't you see me? I am an elf. Ah, yes. I remember thee. Long ago, the elves roamed free, their numbers few and passing fast, until one eve we saw their last. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Why do you speak in rhymes? I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poet tree? <laughs> uh. <laughs> It'll make you dead if you keep up the puns. Oh, I'm seriously tempted. Uh, a poet tree, yes, I get it. It was but a simple jest, a jibe to entertain my guest. What are you exactly? I am an elder oak and nothing more. Though once I dreamt of a time before, when I roamed the world and howled with pain, not of this world. But twixt and twain. Perhaps I was a spirit then, a wandering thing drawn to this glen. But then that spirit joined with a tree. Since then, a tree is all I need. It just seems that the other trees are far more hostile. Of the Sylvans, this is true. They are quite mad, their virtues few. A spirit trapped within a tree, no mouth to scream or eyes to see. A cage of bark, a prison wood, a thing of rage where nature stood. So twisted sylvan they become, but I am not the same as some. I accept my fated oaken home. I feel no need to rage and roam. I would like to know more about this strange forest. I can only speak to what a tree may see. It may not help you. But it is enough for me. Why is this place called the Brazilian Forest, exactly? That is but a human name. One placed upon this land their claim. A claim they stole from ancient elves, whom they first killed, and were killed themselves. And what happened to make the forest like this? A great war, perhaps. I cannot tell. I was not here when it befell. But many deaths here, all the same. And with the deaths, the spirits came. The spirits entered corpse and tree, 
and most went mad as thou canst see. The forest had a spirit of its own from back when its first seeds were sown. Perhaps she died of grief that day, or perhaps she simply went away. Or perhaps the wares are the ones to blame, for the day she left is the day they came. Hmm. So, keep that in mind, because that's going to come up later in the story here. So when the spirit of the forest left, the werewolves arrived. Where can I find Witherfang's lair? In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell. Or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. Why do the trees protect them? Perhaps wares use magic to command the trees. All I know is they move as they please. Is there any other way to get to the center of the forest? Perform the boon as I ask, and I shall reward thee for the task. I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. And you won it back, I take it? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out, yet I shall die. If left without. I could look for your acorn, but what's in it for me? Hmm. My wooden skin has some magic, see, and part of it I can give to thee. Well, I would prefer if you helped me find Witherfang, actually. In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell, or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. Hmm, well, yes, as you've said before. And your wood can get me into the center of the forest, then? The forest would see thee as a tree, and so no harm would come to thee. Hmm. Alright. I guess that sounds like a useful reward. Wilt thou then perform the task? Wilt thou save me as I ask? Very well. I will help you. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Okay, another quest added to our list. Some man has stolen the spirit's future life, I guess, in the acorn. So we have to get it back. But first just across one of the streams. Looks like they have a campfire over here. Or some kind of campsite. Looks abandoned. <laughs>